nanotechnological microbes, microscopic machines with the capacity to reproduce at a truly astonishing rate. Their origin is unknown, but they are man-made. The machine head virus is not indestructible. It can be destroyed. The evacuation of Montreal, Canada, earlier this year, and the subsequent a concern which must be shared by everyone on the planet. Now sports, Jerry. My name is Kimberly Stride, Dr. Kimberly Stride. I've been engaged in research at MIT into the cause and effects of nanotechnological infestation when the virus struck. My assistant, Orville McArdle, Orville the Geek, and I found refuge in the isolation bunker deep beneath the Institute and set about discovering the ways and means necessary to destroy the machine head virus. We had located the source of the virus and built a vehicle, flippantly called the Vorpal Blade, to transport a nuclear bomb into the blighted heart of the machine head. But we had a problem. To bring the Vorpal Blade to its full operational capacity required a sophisticated artificial intelligence. In short, a brain to guide it along the torturous and highly dangerous route to its goal. I had decided to upgrade the Institute's CPU with encoded sequences from my own brain patterns and then implant this into the Vorpal Blaze operating system. But Orville had ideas of his own. I couldn't move, and my head hurt like hell. The geek had found us a brain all right. Unfortunately, it was mine. I had no choice. The bomb was primed and the geek had his finger on the auto destroy. There was nothing else I could do but ride that baby into the heart of the beast. Unfortunately, I can. Excellent! Okay, baby, before I give you directions to the machine head, there's a couple of things I need for you to do. Not far from your present position, you'll find a real cool train sitting pretty, just like yourself. <laughs> In a hangar, the train's carrying fuel that I need for you to take to some scientist friends of mine. Just a pretext, you understand. So as you can get into their bunker and find out what they're at regarding the machine head. I want you to release the train and await further instructions. It's only an itty bitty little thing, but it'll make me real happy. Little things please little minds, Orville. Oh, your wit surpasses your beauty, Dr. Strive. And your stupidity surpasses your grossness, scumbag. I'm kind of toying with the idea of pressing that auto destruct right now. But you won't do that, Orville, because you need me as much as I don't need you. Uh, you don't know how right you are, baby. 
Okay, this is where things start to get real hard. <laughs> Somewhere there, you're gonna see two humongous hills, and they're just teeming with real nasty mutant termites. The kind that are real partial to bait flesh instead of wood. <laughs> you gotta find the entrance to the hill on this side of the river. Once you're there, I'll be in touch. So until then, it's bye-bye, baby. Missing you already. I'm beginning to get real mad with you, Dr. Stride, and you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Orville, I don't like you when you're not angry. You shouldn't have killed the agent like you did. It was real unkind. And besides, he could have given me some real useful information about the machine head. May I just interject here, Orville, to say that you're looking even worse than normal. A fact that fills me with an immense feeling of pleasure. I'm glad you're enjoying this so much, Dr. Stride. It's always good to give a lady so much pleasure. <laughs> now, to the business at hand, so to speak. My last remaining scientist friends have put a spy set into orbit, like a big old eye in the sky, so to speak. What you gotta do is get on board somehow. My last remaining scientist friends most likely think you're their agent from the Termite Hills, so they'll most likely help you out on that score. First up, you're heading for the highway on the far side of the mountain pass. Once you're in there, hang loose and get ready for me. I'll be coming on to you in a big way, so to speak. <laughs> the only thing that's big about you, Ozo, is your ego. about all I can take from you. I can take it. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me hard. You got it. 